Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with another one, another break of 2022-23 Panini Prism Basketball four box pick your team four. Remember five and six are from the same case, but they sold out before four, but we finally got to four. Big thanks to everyone here for making it happen. And we've got another four box break from a fresh case loaded up. So check that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Daniel ended up with Last Bot Mojo with the Cavs. There's everyone here. Thanks everyone for your patience on this. Thanks for getting in, I appreciate it. Now remember we marked those remaining boxes with the number four so we know they're from the same case. That's right, James, you can always blame me if things go wrong. Things go wrong in a break, put it on me. And then fire again tomorrow, that's what I say. Scared money don't make money, ladies and gentlemen. Now, my memory isn't very good. What was, uh, did we pull anything significant in the first two thirds of this case? I don't remember. If not, then hopefully we can find some monsters in this side. No basketball action happening today, ladies and gentlemen. I thought we were going to have some uh, some hoops action today, but there isn't. The other two uh, play-in games uh, are tomorrow, I want to say. Yeah, there's a TNT game early, and the ESPN game is a late game. Any uh, any early predictions from for these two games? Bulls at Heat. Heat are favored by five and a half. Any... Uh, any thoughts there? I mean, Bulls looked good. He did not. There is, there's my guy Austin Reeves for my Lakers. And behind Clint Capella Blue is... Bob McAdoo, old school Laker going out to Ed P and the Lake Show. James has got the Thunder and the Heat. I like those predictions. I mean, you got to think. I think this one's Arkansas Jalen Williams. Santa Clara Jalen Williams is like the, the bigger name, I think. Daniel with the OKC. With the OKC? With OKC? There's uh, Ryan Rollins, 8 out of 75 for Fong and the Warriors. Diego, you have your ears to the ground. He's saying Reeves will get a big contract possibly somewhere else. I hope not. I don't, I don't think the Lakers are going to... Are going to let him go the way they did with uh, Alex Caruso. I mean, unless someone wants to... I suppose someone can overpay. Oh, here's a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? I suppose someone can overpay because I think, oh, here's Jalen Williams, Santa Clara edition for OKC. But I think the Lakers have the ability to match. I think he's a restricted, I think he's restricted free agent. All card ship as well. There you go, James. I, I appreciate you getting back in. I know yesterday seemed, seemed like a kind of a tough day break-wise yesterday, but you got your at-bat back in, and it worked out. There's Mar Marjan Beauchamp for Milwaukee, rookie Red Wave for Sean TKO.
There's Drew Eubanks to 125. Blue Ice for Portland. It's going to go to Sean Maddock. Different shot. Here's Jamal Murray to 199. Steven with Denver. I think I think the Lakers will match. I'd be surprised if they didn't. I think they're very happy with his progression. I think he's a great diamond in the rough. The Lakers scouting department is actually pretty amazing. Here's Keegan for the Kings for Roy. So he's he's fit well with the team. Here's a nice Benedict Mathurian silver for uh, David B and the Pacers. Nice. And I can't see another team giving him like this monster deal that the Lakers wouldn't be able to match. Ooh, look at this. A Kenneth Lofton Jr., 2 out of 10 for the Grizzlies. That is nice. That's going to go to Steven Olsen. See, Steve, nothing to worry about. He was pretty frustrated that two other breaks went before his. We went out of order on these breaks. He wasn't happy. But your patience is rewarded, C. Volson. There you go, man. That's big. How much would be too much for uh, Austin Reeves? I mean, no one's giving him $25 million a year, right? <laughs> I feel like that would be too much. It is Peyton Watson. Goes to? Oh, we did this last time, too. It was Peyton Watson. Sign your cards, Peyton. Spurs. 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 Damn it. No. Nuggets. That goes to Stephen Flat. They should put the teams on there, too. How about Breakers? I know. Seriously. Tops does it. Come on, Peyton. All right, next box. Scoot's thinking, I think the concern was if paying Reeves was too much, could price him out of getting a star if one becomes available, right. Is this new, this Marvel thing? Uh, no, we, that's, been, that's been floating around the shop for a bit. But it's new to this, new to my studio. Yeah. The trout was in there, was there. Yeah, where did trout go? Is it, is it the, the trout get rotated out? Oh, he's in the store. He's next to the TV. The trout's next to the TV now. No, I think, I don't know. There was a recent interview with Austin Reeves who's, you know, who did the classic, I want to be here for my entire career. I think he's happy here. They're, the Lakers are the ones that gave him a shot. You know, he was a undrafted free agent, something like that. Undrafted free agent or a second round pick or something like that. No, he was undrafted. Lakers gave him the shot. So I think there's a bit of loyalty that's going to be there. I think I think a deal will get done before he even hits the open market sometime in the summer. He's a free agent, right? Yeah, well, I mean, because he was undrafted, so he's not locked into any of those rookie deals. All right. There's Austin Rivers, different Austin. Brooke Lopez, Hyper. There's Max Tracy. That was the sec. He was the second round pick. He's still a work in progress. He could be really interesting. Probably to trade AD to get another star. I don't think they're ever trading AD. I think they're stuck with him for better or for worse. I mean, what are you really going to get for AD? He's out of contract in a couple of years. Here's a sensational signature, Colin Gillespie. That's for Denver. Another Denver force, even flat.
Yeah, Steve. It's a big hit. We were, ta we were talking about how that, that gold was a big hit, man. That's probably going to be... It's probably going to be worth a lot more than a, the, that John ja Moran autograph you were looking for out of here. Dominic Wilkins, ATL Eric K with that one. Kyrie sign and trade for AD. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen either. Eight out of 49, Clay Thompson for the Warriors. It's for Fong. Not, there's not too many players that I that I would trade for AD because when AD is AD, you know you just need to find that little little window of healthy AD, healthy at the right time, and then you're gonna get MVP caliber AD. That's just how good he is. And I think with injury concerns that he has, I just don't think that he'll. Uh, I just don't think that you can get really get full value for him. What if Luca wants to be traded in 2024? What, what would you want the Lakers to seek it? Yes. But I don't know if that's a good fit, not while LeBron is still around with two very ball-dominant players. I think the team that's constructed here, I think, is pretty, is pretty good. If they can kind of upgrade the, you know, the current pieces they have... All right, behind Pat Connaughton is Trey uh, Tari Eason, that is, Rockets, Ed. Now, when LeBron eventually retires or moves on, he's not on the team, then I think adding a Luka Doncic to that team could be really interesting. I don't know how much of the current guys, the... Uh, Lakers are gonna are gonna re-sign, but I think D'Angelo Russell is probably a good idea to try to re-sign if he wants to stay, if he gets a good deal. Jared Vanderbilt has been great. You know, Austin Reeves. So they've got the they've got the framework of a pretty good team and then, you know, they usually they usually do undrafted or get they get some great value out of that second round. Wow, when LeBron retires, go after Joker and Doncic. That that would be quite that'd be quite a combo. Norm Powell to seventy five for the Clippers. It's gonna be for Brian Frank. Does Dame keep drawing the? I feel like Dame wants to try to get people to Portland. He's having a hard time with that, but I feel like he wants to get people to Portland. And I feel like he's happy in Portland. I think he's moved most of his family and extended family to Portland. They all live near each other. Like, that's home for him. Because those, those da Damian Lillard rumors always keep creeping up, but I feel like they're, at the end of the day, they're always, they're always shot down. Here's our, uh, here's our first Chet Holmgren rookie card, I think. This is going to go to Daniel and the OKC. He's had him in the entire case. And a Scotty Pippen Jr., rookie silver for the Lakers. He got some minutes here and there. I think the issue is uh, he's a little undersized. I don't know. As for my Lakers, I think the Lakers really, with the recent trades they made, yeah, he's pretty good. He can shoot pretty well. He's obviously his basketball IQ is is pretty high. He's a smart player, but I think he's a little small, so I'm not sure if he's gonna he's gonna make significant impact on a lot of rosters. I'm just looking at the Lakers death chart right now. Basically, if they can get where can they do upgrades? I mean, is there a better, like a better version of Jared Vanderbilt? I like his energy, though. I mean, they'll probably be looking at just little upgrades here and there. Because I think for the most part, 
you know, with Anthony Davis and LeBron for another year in L.A., you know, I think they're going to see, hey, what can we do with a full season of D'Angelo Russell? What can we do with a full season of Jared Vanderbilt? Troy Brown Jr. off the bench. You know, maybe Hachimura, but maybe, maybe Hachimura moves on somewhere. Lonnie Walker, fourth, will probably move on. Malik Beasley, maybe. If they can find, is there a, a better Malik Beasley out there or something like that? I don't think they have a first round pick in the summer. But their Lakers are pretty good as constructed. If you look at the numbers since the like the numbers since the trade, they've been one of the best teams um, as constructed since the trade. So that that should that should count for something. I think their defensive rating has increased significantly as well since the trade. I mean I May as well run it back with his team, maybe add a, a couple little upgrades here and there, kind of refresh the team a little bit, but keep the main guys. I think it could work. Townhorn Tucker reveals another Grizzly. That's Kennedy Chandler. It's another one for Steve Olson. Oh, so that's, I would talk to random.org, Rex. That's a random.org issue. It's Davis Bertans, Red Wave. Yeah, I think the Lakers the last some few years or so have just overhauled the roster every summer. It'd be nice to go into an off season without overhauling with a little consistency. All right, we got sensational signatures. Keon Ellis. That will go to Sacramento. That's going to be for Roy. That's Santa Clara, Jalen Williams. The higher draft pick of the Jalen Williams is. And that's Tyler Hero to 75, Miami, Michael, with the Heat. There's LeBron right there. Dennis Schroeder. I think most of those guys are on expiring or, or, or a one-year one -year deal. So there, there's going to be some re-signings they have to do, but... I think we'll keep most of those guys. Yeah, the Rays. The Rays with 13 wins, tying the record. Pretty amazing. There's Marjan Beauchamp for Milwaukee. That's going to be for Sean, TKO. Nice silver. Peyton Watson, Red Wave for Denver. Well, I don't know. I mean, it, it, in the uh, if if you're in the uh, if you're in the investing in the fortunes of a team market, this is a great time to play. Uh, it's a good time to to play the Blue Jays. I mean, just keep keep wagering the uh, the underdog against the Rays. They're not going to go 162 and 0. There's Terrence Mann for the Clippers. That's for Brian. But the Blue Jays will probably be their uh, their their toughest test. There's Valanciunas to 199. Oh well, yeah, James is right. Red Sox are pretty. I mean, the flip side of it is that is that you know as good as the Rays have been. They have been playing a little softer competition. So 
So I don't think it was a huge surprise. But the Blue Jays are going to be their toughest task. Their toughest test in this early season. Now, what's the uh, what's the longest win streak in general in baseball? All right, fourth and final. Next, pick your team is from a fresh case, ladies and gentlemen. I was going to say, yeah, I thought, I thought the A's hit 20-some-odd games. That was in the middle of the season at some point. Charles, what's going on? Can I ask my son's Clippers question for you? Absolutely. You don't have to ask to ask a sports opinion. Just say it, Charles. We can cut the, we can cut the little small talk. Just dive, let's just dive right into it. No need to ask for my permission. The 1916 New York baseball Giants had 26 games in a row. But the A's must have like the record in this century though. All right, fourth and final. Good luck, everybody. Appreciate everybody getting in, making it happen. The next one's in the store. Four boxes from a fresh case. Brand new prison basketball just dropped yesterday. Uh, no filler yet. So get your teams before someone else does or before it ends up in a filler. We can avoid that hurdle. Here's Patrick Baldwin Jr., Red Wave. Rookie Red Wave for Golden State. That's for Fong. Cleveland Indians had 22 straight in 2017. Jason says, I live four miles away from the Trotten. Don't hate on the Rays. Who's hating on the Rays? Not me. It's Victor Oladipo with the Heat. I'm just saying, the record's impressive. They face some soft competition, that's all. 111 out of 149, Will Barton for the Wizards. I did look at the card, C. Volson, and it was in good shape. Centering might be a little, little weird. Prism is often like that, but, but yeah, I think everything else, the corners, the 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 edges looked pretty good. I think he's pretty good at with prism type products. They 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 cut those pretty well. Now, Charles is asking for all the talk. Is there, has there been a lot of talk about that? I've not heard any of that. For all the talk about the age of the Suns rotational players, aren't the Clippers equally old? I don't know. I suppose we'd have to look at... There's Gary Payton the second to 299 and Doug McDermott. Sensational signatures. For the Spurs, that's going to go to Jason. Well, we, have to, we could average out their ages. Average average the age of the rotational players and then we'd know. I think that, that number may have that average number may have changed once they moved a couple of those uh, bridges and uh and pain, I think, right? Or whatever that trade was to Brooklyn. But I think maybe they got a little older because they brought in an older Kevin Durant and switch out a couple of younger players. Maybe that's messed with the average age a little bit, but, and Apollo Banchero. Who was saying that the, that the Suns rotational players were, were, were old? I guess they kind of are. I feel like they're pretty similar ages. Max Truss for the Heat. 
and it'll be for Michael. You read the other day, long start was 13 by the 87 Brewers, but now I'm seeing the 82 Braves also at 13. Maybe people were saying the, the last time, the most recent time someone did it was almost 13, but maybe not the only time. There's Tyler Hero to 199. And that's Santa Clara, Jalen Williams. Rookie autograph. Nice one for OKC, Daniel Ruiz. Nice. Pretty solid player on a pretty solid team. A lot of youngsters on that team. And, they didn't, and Chen Holmgren didn't even play a minute on that team. And the Tyler Hero for the Heat going to Michael. There you go, gang. A nice four-box break in the books Thanks, everybody, for watching, for getting into it. I appreciate it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.